that says authority. It says it all right there. <laughs> That's get out the way. <laughs> That's special. Move. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today, well, you just can't help smiling because today we have my buddy Pete. And Pete, what your car and make did you bring? I brought you a 73 AMC Gremlin X. And it has the special package. Which is the Levi's edition. The <laughs> Levi's edition. So let's take a look at the car. Well, you just don't see any more since 73. So that said, let's start right off with its profile. And we are here in the Midwest, but thankfully, as you're the second owner, Pete, this came from California. What year did you purchase this one from? I purchased it in 2009 off the original owner who retired back in the Midwest. He's originally from the Midwest. So that's how I acquired it. Well, this car, um, there was actually uh, someone who came following us to the destination that we're in this park right now to photograph it because they just couldn't help themselves. They loved looking at it. You were so fanatical when you rebuilt this car back to the original factory showroom look. These rims and tires, you can see, have the blue on there, so it looks like it came right from the factory. That is correct. <laughs> the all-important Levi's logo, and we'll take a look at the front. Now there's an AMO badge on that grill. Which is required for the AMO Nationals. Get you a couple extra points, so we have it in place. And yours, though, says best of show. The Gremlin. The little hood, bulge, and it looks just great. So Pete, what makes you such an AMC fanatic? Because this one is, well, you've been fanatical with it. Uh, it's representative of myself, so to speak, an ext extension. Um, but, you know, doing this close to 30 years now, just going to car shows, wanting something unique, and my parents had one growing up. So uh, this kind of fit the bill when I came across it. The perfect car for you. Yeah. <laughs> the perfect car. Let me feature the back. Tell me, Pete, about this license plate, because that's... Uh, the plate's original to the car, along with the license plates, which is North Hollywood, California, which I have the documentation, so it kind of all ties everything into the period correctness of the, the car. And how many hours did it take you to rebuild this car to be best of show quality? For Total a in this car, what you're looking at, I have probably just over a thousand hours in the the restoration, wow. and that was at a leisure a leisure pace of doing it. You know, not on book time, not having the hustle. That's yeah. at my pace, which. And this car is so amazing. We're not only going to show you the trunk and treats, but we'll show you what the undercarriage looks like because I think you'll want to see that. And we'll take you a look at that, well, how about now? So here's our trunk and treats. So Pete, share with me, what is this massive picture with this young lady on it? That would have been a, a factory photo press release uh, introducing the, the new graphics and uh, some new uh, elements that they incorporated into uh, the striping and, and whatnot with the, the 73 Gremlin. Now I just want to share with people how it used to be working, if they're a little younger, is a 72, it says August 72, but you see the 73 Gremlin. So it would come out in like August or September yeah. for the next year. And the production date on mine was actually uh, October 20th it was ordered, so it is an, an early one. I'll do that so people can see it. By the way, the grill doesn't come with the car as a general rule. So just so people know that. All right, let me go back to my trunk and treats. Pete, we have a Whopper trophy. That is a floating trophy from the AMO Nationals. Now, what do you mean floating? I mean, I can obviously pick it up. What, what do you mean floating? So in the AMO world... Um, Congratulations, have, by the way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. It's, it's actually a big accomplishment. I mean, this ain't easy to get one of these. No, it's not. You have to have... Uh, 
um, an outstanding point winner vehicle and well this tell us why your car is an outstanding point winner thing you do just the detail that went into it you know it was uh, meticulously restored so okay so because of your meticulous restoration which we're gonna enjoy everything well actually too, put it up on the lift after yeah, I'm done with trunk and treats yep because it's 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 worthy of seeing the bottom of this one. Oh, absolutely a lot of people don't get down to to look at it but yeah I kind of went overboard on it <laughs> I'm putting this right on top of here I like how you said that I kind of went overboard on it so the 73 brochure as you can see and I want to take my time here so that people can enjoy this because well you don't get the chance to see this all the time and there's yours no no that's that's the five liter it says and yours is a 4.2 correct five liter was an option okay which was the 304 and what's yours a two 258 258 they only had two two options with the uh, the inline six a two uh, three point eight liter which was a two thirty two and then the uh, optional uh, bigger six which is the uh, four point two two fifty eight liter and that's your color right yeah they call it maxi blue maxi blue with the Levi's edition it would have been nice if the whole back end would have opened just to give you a little more than just the window like that right on the hornet a whole hatch to step up yeah. oh, perfect timing on that one the sport about nice very careful at pete's thing here the sport about dl step in the game up AMC had some crazy interiors. I mean, look yeah. at that. I think that's the uh, the Gucci, if I'm not mistaken. The Gucci. Well, the Gucci interior. Yep. <laughs> yeah. The sedan. More information on the Hornet. The Javelin, and the AMX. Now that's a crazy interior. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Even on the on the red, uh, the roof liner. Wow. I will say I always enjoyed their instrument cluster. I thought they really did that well. Mm-hmm. Basic to the point. Yeah. The Matador. Roomy Intermediate. The Matador with wood grain. Look at the pattern. Oh, I forgot about the Ambassador. Yeah. Wow. Ambassador has a normal interior. The Ambassador Brome. There's your colors. There's Maxi Blue. No doubt the 73 interior. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Yeah, option colors. Next. Let me just show this too. From your, here's your spare tire. Let me try to do that. And then your back seat with a fold down. Yep. You can see your piece there. And then when we walk around the car, we'll show you the interior from the other way. Okay, so yours is a Levi's? Correct. So here's our Gremlin new photo Levi's. Here we have uh, original documentation from when the car was ordered and purchased. How did you find this? Got it from the original owner. 
November 14th, 72. Yep. This is great. So it was a California car. It was purchased in uh, North Hollywood. Is that why it survived? Mostly. I mean, they didn't really build these cars to withstand the Midwest. No. And if you look, that was the purchase order. He ordered it October 20th and I think received delivery of it sometime in November and all the date codes are intact. I even have the original license plate and license plates for the vehicle on the car now. The blue denim mode. I want to show this picture because this young lady shows up in a couple of these. These are all photograph proofs. Right? Yes. How did you find photograph proofs? Because I think this girl's that girl. Yep. She still doesn't come with the car. Yeah, that's that girl. Yeah, for sure. I like the shirt though. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is cool. But no, the internet's a, a wonderful thing. And you can find some amazing uh, things out there. <laughs> you, know, you take your time. When you found this, did you feel like you found, like, did you, were you like in Glee? Like, yeah, like that's yeah, cool. Yes. Because in the process of when, you know, restoring this, you know, I had to go off of uh, factory period photos, and those were certainly of that time uh, to restore it the way it's finished now. He's not paying attention to the car at all, Pete. <laughs> I think he was cute from the cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> uniquely styled, uniquely gremlin. Still the sportiest little car of them all. That's great stuff. Okay, and test drive the Levi's gremlin. <laughs> Let me try that again. Test drive the Levi gremlin, the car that wears the pants. <laughs> And with that, we'll take you back to the car. So while I'm in the back, I figured I'd give you one extra treat to this car because I want to show you the level of that trophy that we just showed and why someone like Pete would hold on to it and say, it's a pretty big deal. Look at the underside of this car. All right, I'm going to take my time. This and the bands, the hosing, it's spectacular, oh wow, Pete, how long did you think it took just on the underside to restore, uh, like suspension? Well everything was pulled out of the car, sandblasted, primed, painted, clear coated, um, I, I probably have just in suspension components, axle, things like that, probably close to 200 hours on it. That's amazing. I thought that uh, since we had the lift, we would check it out. Yeah. I'm going to show you that from down here and just give you that. That's amazing. Magnaflow, is that correct? Yeah, for the muffler, when I had everything free back, the guy's like, uh, why don't we step it up and just so you have a little <laughs> rumble. I'm like, yeah, sure. A rumble. Rumble, rumble. But yeah, most people don't get down and look at the underside, but it is that nice. That's crazy. All right, we'll take you back to the car. And we're back. So let's take a look at the interior. Nice how they flush the door handles. Thought that was a good move. What's known as your fender tag, so to speak, in the door. And there, well, the sun's beaming on it. Here's your Levi's package. The all-important little gremlin in the middle, just as a reminder. 
Let me show you the seats. Nice buckets. Yeah, they are. They're comfortable. The Levi's tag right there. Maybe I can get it better there. There's your Levi's tag. And you can see the little back seat. Let me show you the interior. Our pedals. Arc American Motors. You see the words Torque Command. The hood release. Ashtray. The weather eye. The yeah, all important. What is the X for, Pete? In the Gremlin X? Uh, just the sport package. The sport package. You got this here. There's this little tray that you can put things down here. That's interesting. Oh, the air duct? Yes. Uh -huh. And it also has a little bit black knob that you're focusing on right yeah. above the uh, yeah discharge there. That's just the air for uh, recirculating air. Got it. All right. Our turn signal. Let's uh. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Sure. I like even I'll focus on that the Levi's buttons. <laughs> That's great. So before we open the hood, I just want to feature that mirror. Pretty unique in the style. Let's open the hood, shall we? Is it a front open? Yeah, hood latch is inside the car. That was new for 703. And then your typical latch. The hood springs. This is about as clean as it gets. Wow. How did you find some of the proper pieces for a California car? Uh, internet is a wonderful thing, especially for a car like this. But day codes are intact on certain components if you know where you're looking. Wiper motor, uh, air condenser, which this one's hard to find, but they're there. Original uh, oil filter, day coded wires, uh, fuel filter. Um, yeah, stuff's there. Obviously, we know we got an interstate battery, but if you look at everything else, yeah, we needed it to start here for you today, people. So <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we needed to bring it to the to the channel. So we had to do what we had to do. I mean, the hinges. How difficult was it to find this under hood piece? Oh, the hood insulator. Yeah. It wasn't too hard. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And air conditioning. Okay, well, let's do what we usually do. Let's fire it up. And then we'll let it idle when I'm back there. If you'd step on the brakes, please. And then we'll, we'll, then we'll give it one or two revs. to see under there. Yeah. All right, let's uh, step on the brakes for just a moment. We've got those on. Okay, let me just listen to an idle for a minute. Sounds like a brand new car. Give it a rev, would you please? <laughs> the inline six gremlin. That's what it sounds like from American Motors. All right, we'll shut it down. Pete, I'm going to shut the door. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we take this one for a ride? Sounds good. Ready, Lou? Yeah. Let's do it. 
It's a wonderful drive, though. Oh, it's beautiful. Sunny, 89, a lot of humidity. We're good. And we're in the Gremlin. In the Gremlin. Levi's. This thing handles like it's on rails. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> I'm ready. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, Pete, a lot of times when I'm on the channel, I say, and we make sure we get up to the legal speed limit. And uh, We've <laughs> exceeded it in the Forest Breeze. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy the ride with us as we uh, take the gremlin out. And you know, it feels, uh, I, you know, weight and power to rate. Power to weight ratio is what I'm trying to say. It feels pretty peppy. Yeah, it's got spunk for a single barrel carburetor for an inline six. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. it's it's uh, respectable. There's no, uh, well, that was good. It actually got a nice sound. I'll just let people listen to that. 110 horse. the last time you've seen another one? Um, it's been a while. I yeah. mean, primarily at local shows. That's about it. Yeah. Uh, I can't recall the last time I seen well, my last gremlin. I think I saw one in Arizona. Once you own a car like this, you start to know who the people are and you know where cars are located. Is where, it? Where Go we're ahead. at, there's roughly about 10 of them in the the area around here so there's a gremlin community yeah i would say so yeah and it's, everybody's really nice very good just good well they're driving a gremlin right how could they not enjoy that yeah yeah well pete there's nothing better than hanging out with you in the uh, levi's edition gremlin it took us right back to 1973 and i have to say yours is just spectacular thank you you've really done tremendous work you deserve the award that you've received and it's always fun getting together with you absolutely thanks so much for being at my car store thank you Luke. appreciate it